If you're into custom 3D printing, stay tuned for news from the 3D printing community and we're gonna have a look at some components which arrived in Valhalla recently. First, let's go to the market and see what's going on. And of course, there are the 32 bits controllers all over the place now. Other suppliers are also now coming up with the products. And we can have a look at Makerbase, which is known for their MKS boards, like the MKS Gen L. And they have, have now come up with this board, which is exactly like the M MKS Gen L, except it's a 32-bit controller, which is called MKS S Gen L. As you can see, the price is very affordable, only 18 bucks. MKS also have uh, this S Gen, not the S Gen L, which I think is based on the 1.4 board they had. It looks very similar to their earlier 8-bit 1.4 board. That's a little bit more expensive as you can see. I can link to those boards in the description below. And also subscribe for more weekly quickly news. Then we have of course the SKR. The whole revolution started with the SKR board sort of. And uh, they are still the front runner I think. That is a very nice board because you have just have UART all integrated with the new uh, stepper drivers, the TMC2208 and 2209s. Other from uh, Big Tree Tech, they also took up the challenge from Fistec. Fistec had has this cheetah board for the Ender family. And Big Tree Tech said, well, let's make an Ender board also. So this one has integrated TMC 2209s. And of course, you can use this board for any printer. Maybe we can get one in Valhalla and test it. Also, we have the SKR Mini. I'm not sure where to place this board in the family of boards so basically the main difference is that it's only support for drivers so let's have a look at fistec then so this is the cheetah board from fistec so it's marketed as an ender board maybe it's a, just a drop-in replacement for the ender board it also has uh, integrated steppers tmc 2209 so exactly what also big tree tech recently offered also from Fistec, we have this board. It's actually a board. It looks like a controller. I know, an LCD controller. But it also is a 32-bit board. And I'm not sure where to place this. Actually, I have one here. So one of these is the display and one is a 32-bit controller. But as you can see, they are exactly the same in the front. And when we turn them around, it's a little bit different. So actually, here is the stepper drivers. And the stepper drivers on this board are ST820, which are supposed to be very strong and uh, you can run them natively at 256 micro stepping. This board looks like some sort of hack to me. Uh, it does not look very good. Uh, I will not recommend this board as of now. So, this is the touch screen from Big Tree Tech. The 3.5 inch touch screen they have and it looks very nice but it's not responsive at all so i do not recommend this unless you want to use a stylus to <laughs> control the lcd width so that's just quickly what's new in uh, the market i've not been able to do much research as i've been uh, working hard on releasing the wee baby core xy i'm designing which you can catch up in the vlogs up here please subscribe for more quickly news and stay tuned for updates on the wee baby happy melting plastic guys